what's up everybody blue raven here and welcome back today's video we're going to be doing a bloodborne duping guide update so this video is to update um all my viewers on how to properly do the duping um glitch um hopefully it works um i've been i've been trying for a couple days to get it to work and i ha and i personally been, i was on my regular playstation it didn't work so now i'm on my pro and seeing if uh my pro being a newer system uh, my PlayStation is a first gen. It's a Destiny one. It's old. It has its issues. So I'm pl trying it on my Pro and see if I can get it to work. It should work. Um, but uh, before we start, I want to go over a couple things. First of all, the things you need to know: one, uh, make sure you're not connected to the internet. So just go over here, go to settings, go to network, and make sure this box is not checked. Okay, that's all you need to do. Next, uh, the copy of Bloodborne that you need for the guide for the glitch to work. Uh, digital will not work. Uh, the Game of the Year edition, which I believe was only released over in the UK, that one won't work. That one, the disc has already got an updated version. And the PlayStation Hits version of Bloodborne will not work. That already has an updated version of Bloodborne. You need the original OG Bloodborne copy. The, the blue case, blue disc, where the disc is just, just says Bloodborne for PlayStation only. That's all you want. It's the only one that will work. So you don't you need that disc and not to allow it to update. That's the crucial things about this glitch, okay? So when I load in, when it's creating everything, it should say at the bottom right hand corner it should say app ver point zero, app version point zero, okay? So we're gonna start a new game. I'll turn this up so you guys can see. Um, and this is actually getting boosted oh, yeah. to look better. So um, this was happening on my regular PlayStation 2 where the video is actually glitching. My problem with my other one that I was having was once I completed my first character, I couldn't load that character. And I'm, ho I'm hoping that PlayStation didn't release an update to their software stopping us from being able to update that. But where's an outsider like yourself to begin? Easy, with a bit of yarn and blood of your own. First, you need a contract. So it only glitches in that scene. The next scene will go flawlessly, but that scene for some reason always glitches. I don't know. So we're going to name this character. We're going to give him an epic name of one. So uh, another question, so if you're doing the glitch, first, before I get into that question, if you're doing the glitch and you want to know if you're in the right version, it should say this on the screen. If it just says Bloodborne, you're good to go. If it shows like weapons and lore and stuff like that, you've got an updated version, you need, it won't work, okay? Wish I could skip this. Um, but... As you can see, this version will work. Just this, this part doesn't glitch. Um, so the next question is: Is what happens if you your your first character that you need to buy the pebble with to do the glitch? What if you die before you get to the first lantern? What do you do? The answer to that is very simple: Go get your echoes back, or go get go once you get in the hunter's dream, grab your weapon, go back out, kill something. To you need ten echoes. If you can't kill one enemy in this game my glitch is not going to help you so you need 10 echoes so just go kill something go back to the lantern and go buy your pebble and switch characters hopefully that answers your question um i want to thank everybody who posted uh as of this date the game the glitch still works as this date the glitch still works so this is march uh 14th 2020 that i'm doing this video so um as far as I know, as long as you have the base game and you don't let it update and it's on PS4, it doesn't matter which PS4 you have, this glitch should work. So, um, keep it, keep that in mind. It doesn't matter the day or the year. As long as you have PS4, the original copy, and you don't allow the game to update, this glitch should work. What I'm going to test is if I can't load my character, if it, if it goes back out when I close it and it won't let me load the first character, um, the glitch may still work. What I'll end up, I'm going to test to see is if I can start duping, if it'll allow me when I do my second character, it still registers or stu you have them both, 
and I can, if it'll allow me to dupe, then maybe you have to do it all in one session. Get as much as you can in one session, because once you update the game, then it'll, then it'll say, it'll, it'll give you your saves. But we'll see, because on my my regular PlayStation, that's the issue I was having. It was once I was done with this character, I wasn't able to save. I'm a little rusty in Bloodborne too, as well. I've been trying for a couple days to get this to work, but I'm a little rusty in Bloodborne. I haven't played this game in like six months, so I haven't having issues with just being doing stupid shit. Like this guy, I always kill him. I don't care what character on. This dude's so easy. I say he's easy and then he, I can't get behind him. It's alright, he's kind of lost interest in me, anyways. So, I'll go ahead and heal up. See, he's not even chasing me. So. So this guy. And here he comes. <laughs> Alright, so we just need to get the pebble and then save and quit. Well, you don't, it auto saves, but quit the game and. Start a new character. Alright. Oh, and another thing I need to add is you have to get to the, to, to the lantern on the ladder. You have to go up the ladder and get to that lantern. If you don't, if you just go to the, if you die and just go back to the first lantern where the wolf is, the workshop won't be open to you. This won't be open. You have to get to the lantern to open this so you can deposit your pebble. Okay? We got to save, so let's quit the game and find out if uh, my my other PlayStation just is old and tired and my hard drive sucks, or if they did some type of software update to PlayStation, which is not allowing games to save content. See, game install incomplete, so I can't load. That's what I ran into on my other one. So what I'm going to try is run the run my other character and see if I can still dupe. If I can, then we're all good. You just need to do it all in one session. If I can't, then this is uh, this is going to be an update to the glitch and saying that I can't get it to work anymore. Unravel its mystery. But there's an outsider like yourself to begin. Because I installed the game without the internet on. So as far as the PlayStation is concerned. It's just First, um, the disc. It's running the game, any of the information off the disc. So there's no updates as far as the PlayStation is concerned. So we're going to name you two. It doesn't really matter since I can't name, uh, get the other person. I don't care what the character looks like. If this works, then you can customize your character. Your second, make sure you customize your second character accordingly. Um, this character is uh, going to be the guy. Who, so I do know the jump still works, so I was messing around with that. Um, we can find out if it works based on the fact that, uh, it's, well, as soon as we start duping, if, if it works, and we can start doubling our item, our inventory, um, the characters in the game will all glitch out too. So like the fir that first guy you talked to next to the first lantern up the ladder, he'll give you the tonsil stone for some stupid reason. Um, but there could have been a software update where it's like you can't play certain games and they have a list of them without having them updated. That could just be a Sony software update. So they keep people, so they don't have to ban people from doing these because you can get banned for doing this. But see, the game recognizes that I have another character because I can skip that cutscene. 
if you don't have a second character, you can't. If you haven't have don't have a first character, you can't skip that scene. The fact that I can makes me believe that I can still do the glitch. It just can't load my characters until I update the game. So, if you dupe your character up, then up to a, a level that satisfies you, then you can just uh, lo upload load the game and then it will give you your saves. I've never had an issue. I've, mm, I've never had an issue killing this dude. And then today I've been trying to do that, where I get behind him and you hit him, so it staggers him, and you stick your hand in your butt and kill him. And uh, it's all right. I'll kill him the easy way now. So, if you were to die with the pebble character, this is what you do. Again, if you look, you can't get into the warehouse or the workshop. Both doors are closed. You can't get in until you get to that second lantern. So, grab your weapons. There we go. Come down here. First floor stock room. Plus, I can't play. I got Neo Two, so um, if I can't get this to work, I'm gonna upload this video and be like, "Hey, look, I couldn't get it to work. It doesn't work anymore. Sorry, guys." Um, if you can get it to work, let me know. Um, so either way, and then I'm up to be doing. I also have a channel update that I'm gonna do. That I don't know if I'm just big. That's how easy it is to get to fix your stuff. Plus, you get some good blood vials, which you may need when it comes to um, uh, doing the jumping part. But um, I will uh, be doing a channel update video because I have some stuff to talk about as far as um, certain games that I have that I've been playing for a long time are concerned so um but well, i just r1 spam that wall just walked up and just r1 them just da, 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 like that this is my favorite attack watch this ready love that attack so if you're wondering it's r1 r1 and l1 so you go boom bam just like that Now we don't need to go back to the, to the hunter's dream. We just need to run past it and get to our jumping point. Okay. Sorry about my dogs. Dirt. Dirt. My wife came home and they, they wanted to go outside. Uh, I am moving and I'm gonna have a studio, so I won't have these noises in the background anymore. So there's some pebbles. I don't care about those. So another piece of advice, if you're doing this because you're having a hard time with Bloodborne, let these guys pass. These guys down here, just let them walk by. Um, if you're good, trying to do this to m make the game easier for you, then just let these guys go by. Don't even worry about fighting them. Just wait a second, they'll go by because we need to go over there. So as soon as they cross the, la the, the bottom ladder, bottom of the stairs, you can start working your way down. Right now, 
they shouldn't see you. See? Another thing to make sure to do, don't forget to unlock this gate. Because if you mess up, you want to be able to shortcut back here. So open that gate. Yeah, just make your life easier. Alright, let's see if we can kill this guy in one try. Come here, biggins. Fuck. Bitch. This is why I got the blood vials. And I'm dead. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright guys, welcome back. Sorry about that. So I did kill this guy. So now we're the jumping part of the thing. So what you want to do is you want to run straight and jump on this coffin here. But you want to jump just before you get to the coffin. See how I'm kind of moving? You want to hit that right where you're hitting that. You want to jump and you'll you'll be able to get up on that ledge. Um, so I'm going to do that and I'll probably just jump to when I get to the top. Welcome back guys. Alright, so I got up here. Um, and now what you want to do is you want to walk down here. And you see these sandbags? So what you want to do is you want to get to these sandbags. And if you notice, look. See how I kind of go up? That's where you want to be. But you want to be facing the opposite way. So when you're facing this way, you want to go... Sorry about my dogs. Um, they're being pains in the butt. They want to go outside. But you want to you want to do that, but you want to charge over the fence. Charge at the fence. And you want to try to get stuck on top of the fence. Not If you get, if you get over, you can get lucky and fall on the other side. But typically, you're just going to fall over. And then you're going to have to do the jumping part again. So what you want to do is try to get as close, right? See how I did? I fell over. That's not what you want to do. And that's why we have this shortcut open. <laughs> so I will... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to do this jump again, and I will see you guys in a second. Alright guys, welcome back. So, it took me a while to get back up here. Um, so we'll try this again. Again, you kind of want to be facing this way when you do it. When you, you If you're facing this way, you're going to fall off. So I always try to... Okay. Right... See, I want to be on. See, I did that. Now I'm good. So now I can go over here. You can fall down. And then the first thing you want to do before you mess anything up, open this gate. Open that gate so if you die, you don't have to do the jump anymore. And then we can go over here. I'm going to show you guys some cool things and we'll see if we can't get the glitch to still work without a save. So there's a guy here. Ignore him. Go get. You just want the madman's knowledge here. Screw that guy. Run away from him. You can kill him if you want. If you if you're good, you got skills, kill him. Me, I'm not worried about him. But you want the madman's knowledge because you want to be able to dupe 99 of those so you can have all the insight. But really we want to go over here. And then there was another question, it was what happens if you accidentally dupe all of your or if you consume all the the cold bloods that you're duping? Um, so the first one you're gonna, if you dupe the one from uh, Rom, you, you're kind of stuck there. You need to you have to go find uh, one that's close to it and do it that way. But if you if you go over here where these giants are, and you get this one here, and you accidentally use more the seven, there's more of them around here. You can just go around and go find another one, and grab it. One other thing you want to do that I've noticed you can do. I don't care about the slow poison. Because I don't really care if we die. I mean, I do. We need echoes, but we have one cold blood, which is all you need. I mean, there's an antidote. So we'll go ahead and use the antidote. There we go. But I also like to come up here. It saves It saves you. I mean, you're going to have infinite money, but if you want to. Off for the stupid bird. Go up this ladder real quick. To this roof. And watch out for this, these birds here. Grab that. 
And then you can get the hell out of Dodge. So now we want to go work our way back to our lantern. I think there's a lantern over there, but I was just run back here. No biggie. So let's see if the dupe still works even without a save. By the way, the giants from Dark Souls became bitches. And they're all pet, they're all weak and shit. So the two antidotes so you can get if you, when you get whoa we don't want to go that way there we go this is actually two different videos I'm piecing together because one video was taking too long I was recording trying to get that jump I think I took like 20 minutes so that jump to get there if, if you think it's it's been patched it's sometimes it's just dumb luck getting up there because it took me like 20 minutes after the first fail when I fell over the wall uh, it took me like 20 minutes to get back up there to get to the sec second one. So, it happens. Um, so, I hope I answered everybody's questions. Now, we're going to find out if, without the actual save files working correctly, if we can still do. We're going to find out right now. So we're going to go over here. Either way, I mean, the jumping, that jumping part saves you a lot of time in and of itself, so. I'm just saying. If you can do the jumping part, I mean, you can skip Gascoigne and everything and get some really good souls, and, I mean, so even if that doesn't work, that part still works. So you can still do that. Sorry about my dogs, they're, they're, you want to go outside and, and I want to get this video done for you guys, so they're they're kind of moving around their kennel and they're not happy and yeah. All right, so to find out if it worked, we're gonna go here. We're gonna place this one in there, and then buy pebbles. Let's see if it worked. That's all we have to do. Alright. Oh, by the way, so what I was showing you to do is you can actually look cool early. <laughs> Still works. So you don't have to have your save for the guide to work. You just need. So, essentially what you need to do is you're going to have to do this all in one go. So you're going to have to dupe all in one go, and then uh, once you're done duping, go ahead and let the game update, and then play the game. Okay? So, just to show you guys, it still works. We're going to do this one more time, and then we're going to do our Madman's Knowledges. See, 99. You always grab 98, leave the one in there. Boom, boom. Oops, that was the wrong one. No. Uh, uh, no, I don't want to store. Actually, I want, I want to actually take this one out. Put this in. And then use 97. Because we used one. We need to keep one. Boom, there we go. And then, just to show you guys that it all works, we will go ahead and fire pebbles. So, it is showing the save account, but you can't load it. So, you need the game to update to load it. So, you need to do this all in one go. Unfortunately. That's okay, though. It still works. Boom. Now, now, if we want, now what you can do, now you have the insight, you can actually talk to her. Or, uh, you could, you load out, so go back to the, you have to leave and come back. So, all you have to do is go here, and then come back. 
and then she'll be able to, and then she'll be up because you need at least one insight to talk to her otherwise she'll just be a doll and you have 98 now so um yeah uh i hope this guide is a better informative um i'm just, this is march 14th 2020 and it's still working again i'm and this is on my playstation pro that i'm doing this on so original copy of the game you can't use the downloadable version of it um you can't use the playstation hits version or the game of the year version it has to be the original version of bloodborne no updates um and then just do everything i just did on in this video and you'll do just fine i promise you guys it works uh i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you do see she's standing up now show me the love there's my bell yeah uh, so i can summon people even though i can't because i'm not online um you could also buy the hunter's armor now so if you go here you can buy the arm yarnum armor which i actually think looks better than this armor just to show you and i think it's a little bit better as far as overall armor see now you look like a badass yeah roadhouse but now you can level up with her just those two Hello, good just eyes. those two i did and just to I give you an idea twin. I can Very well, let me. go from level 10 uh, to level 57 in one go. Now this is a no-name character, so I don't care, but just showing you, in two, jo two usages, I'm already at level 57, not even, I haven't even started playing the game yet, okay? Guys, I really hope this is an informative video. Uh, there's a lot of editing in this video that I that I have to do. Um, so, show the likes. They're, they're always welcome. Um, uh, leave me comments. Let me know what you guys think of the video. Uh, share this with at least 10 people you know. you always be helping me out by doing that. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel. And on that note, guys, I will see you guys later. I hope everybody has a great day. Bye, everybody.